Hello, hello my beautiful Tauruses. Welcome back on my YouTube channel Ivan Atero. Welcome to a weekly love tarot reading June 27th until July 3rd, 2022. Sit back, enjoy, have some fun, don't forget, comment, like, share, subscribe or schedule private reading if you want. Tauruses, this is your first message and let me see what I have for you. Spread your wings, spread your wings, honey, and fly away, just fly away. I like this message, to tell you the truth, it looks like you are in a good mood, it looks like you will stay in the good mood. Usually this card um, describe, describes a new path, help from, from above, help from a God, it looks like you will be in a good mood. So, it looks like a preparation time for something. It looks like, I don't know, it looks like a cosmos is helping you, cosmos is watching you. God directly is saying to you, do it, you know, take your chances, you know, take a risk, you know, whatever this very second is on your mind. Spread your wings, baby, and fly away. Maybe you are preparing. Maybe you are buying an um, airplane ticket. Maybe you are in a long distance type of relationship from a far away. Maybe someone think of you. So let's see. Let's see what will happen basically. Queen or King of Wands, Eris the Asset, and there is another message. Passion, baby. Passion. If you are in a relationship with Eris the Asset, as we can see what basically you can expect. Uh, you can expect to be adored. You can expect uh, to be dealing with a person who could be a little bit, you know, bossy. Very, very strong in nature. Lustful. Um, crazy a little bit, you know. Uh, not very easy to handle. Let me tell you that. Uh, but guys, I mean, basically nobody is, you know, easy to, to handle. This person is a typical leader type of a person, devoted when they are in love. This person uh, is or will be very warm and devoted. If this is something, let's say, you want, then spread the wings and fly away. Not by yourself, but with this person. I think this person is watching you. I think this person thinks a lot about you and I think this person will do just anything for you. If you are the right partner, if you feel you are the one for this person, I can bet this person think of you on the exact same way. When you appear in public, other people will point like your know, finger at you saying who they are, like celebrity or whatever, because the two of you, you represent very power, power couple. Major kind of the moon, major kind of the moon. Okay. Usually we say this is illusion of some kind. Illusion, illusion. What type of illusion or delusion you have on your mind? This is also kind of being suspicious about something or someone. Let's say you are preparing to do something on your own. This is fear uh, from inside saying to you, you are not good enough. You don't see the problem, what the heck, you know, you were thinking or whatever. So basically, usually this is deception of fear inside of us speaking, you know. Uh, some of you might be afraid. Is this person lying to you, cheating on you? This is basically kind of reality check. This is kind of disbelieving. Like maybe you can't believe this person is into you. Maybe you think this person is hiding something from you. Listen, you are smart, you have your instinct, right? So if you feel something is wrong, set your boundaries, set new rules. If you feel this person is like, like a fish, it's, it's very, you know, slippery. Like, you know, if you think someone is cheating on you, if you think someone is lying to you, then honey, don't wait, do something about it, okay? But not this one, this Eris Leo Sage looks to me quite nice and good person very, very passionate about you. Could be a little bit problematic if you're dealing with 
Cancer, Scorpio or Pisces because this person still do not know what they want. So this illusion could be yours but also could be illusion of this person with whom you are dealing. But wait a second, we will see what will happen next. Okay, you saw guys, you know what happened. This message, yellow pencil, want to say something to you. You make me happy. So you see, this is not that bad you make me happy. Almost like you can't believe you are as happy as you are. Now let me see another message. Maybe this another message will give us a little bit more more clearance or clarity, not clearance, but clarity, you know, about this, you know, moon. Because moon represents, you know, some wagginess of some kind. Okay, let me see. Let me see. Aha, uh -huh. I tried so hard to resist you unsuccessfully. When you walked in my life, I had to accept this love. So guys, you see, there is a problem. This person is fighting, fighting against their own feeling. This person is fighting against you as well. Mostly they are fighting uh, in um, inside of them because maybe this person think they are not good enough for you. Maybe this person think you are not matching one another. Whatever you do, never mind, never mind. Uh, this person can't resist you and this situation will stay that way. Even though for some of you this could be a love triangle, this person is trying to resist you. You are completely open, but this person is, no, I can't do that. It's not allowed, guys, you know, whatever, right? But you look to me totally ready. So when you walked in life of this person, this person must accept you the way you are. This person need to accept destiny as, as you know, destiny, you know, present uh, for both of you. Okay. Sounds good, weird and good at the same time. Four of Wands reward. Four of Wands, my favorite card. Four of Wands represents marriage engagement almost an ideal partner serious suitor basically this person do not know how serious this relationship between the two of you is was or will be could be a flirting could be long distance type of relationship maybe you see this person from time to time guys you know whatever this person also could be somehow connected with your brother with your sister with your mother with your father something of that kind so this person do not know for now how serious this connection is between the two of you. But I must be honest, every single story goes vice versa. So there is also possibility you don't know, you don't believe, you don't see how special this connection between the two of you is. Six of Wands, success. Thank you, Lord. Six of Wands. Okay, six of wands. Uh, if you are dealing with a with a, uh, um, a, 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 a love triangle type of relationship, it looks like you will win. Maybe you will become a scarlet woman. It looks like this person have no meaning. This person have no power uh, to say to you, "No, I need to be guys, you know, with someone else." So show yourself. I can see you and this person. Uh, walking uh, through on the street, uh, you know, um, hugging one another. So I think this person loves you and respect you, or this person will learn to respect you with every single new day more and more. Let me tell you like this, Tauruses, you will get what you want. Uh, final card is Ten of Swords, which is ending, yes, a scarlet woman. This is exactly what it is. Han, it looks like you will win and someone else will lose. What? Partner, guys, you know, partner. So everything is um, um, saying in this week, you know, this person is trying to resist you, but this is simply impossible. Ain't gonna happen. This person will be with you, period. Full stop. Comment, like, share, subscribe and God bless. Bye.